Hi, and welcome back. Let's start with a concrete example on how to compute this proportionality. Imagine you have in your database three reports containing a specific drug and a specific adverse event. Is three reports a great number of reports? You will remember from the previous lesson that we can only answer this question if we know the expectation. The expectation is the number you should theoretically see if the drug and the adverse event are totally unrelated, if there is no association between the two and they are just co-occurring by chance. So how to compute the expectation? Let me show you, step by step. First, let's have a look at our database. In this imaginary example, we have 100 reports that I conveniently reorganized so I can highlight the important reports to compute the expectation. We have the reports with the drug, the reports with the event, the reports with both, and the reports with neither. Among the 100 reports in our database, we observe three reports with both the drug and the adverse event. So three is our observed count. Then to compute the expectation, we start by computing the frequency of the adverse event in the entire database. That is to say, we count how many reports we have with the adverse event. Here we count eight out of the total number of reports, which is 100. So the frequency of the adverse event in our entire database is 8%. Then we count the number of reports with the drug. We have 10 such reports. So if the drug and the adverse event are unrelated, we would expect to see 8% out of these 10 drug reports to also contain the adverse event. 8% of 10 reports, that's 0 0.8 reports. Note that the expectation is not a round number here. In fact, it is rarely so. so we have an observed count of three reports with both the drug and the event in our database. And we have an expected count of 0 0.8 reports. A simple way to measure this proportionality is to take the ratio between those two quantities. This is called the relative reporting ratio. In this case, 3 divided by 0 0.8 makes 3.75. So it basically says that we have seen 3.75 times as many reports as we would expect if the drug and the event were unrelated. That's almost four times as many reports. In general, an observed to expected ratio above one tends to suggest disproportional reporting. There might be several reasons why we observe such disproportional reporting between the drug and the adverse event. One of these reasons can be a causal relationship, but it could also come from other factors such as a co-prescribed drug that would trigger the event, or comorbidities in the patients taking the drug. The key point here is that a value above 1 does not prove a causal relationship between the drug and the adverse event. This computation cannot replace the necessary manual assessment of the combination by expert reviewers.